This is the brand new Xtool F2. You might notice that it's quite portable. That's because this actually isn't the Ultra line, it's the original line, otherwise known as the Light line. It's the literal successor to the F1, which was already a pretty beefy little machine. And even though it's super small and incredibly cute, it has a lot of powerful features. Ooh, you're so cute. Ooh, you're baby cute. <laughs> the internet was a bad idea. With the holidays lurking around the corner, having something super portable like this to let you do engravings on site for your customers is what's really gonna set you apart from the competition. Look, I can even do kettlebells. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I can't believe I just recorded that. Anywho, let's go through some of the new features. First, let's talk about power. The F2 comes with a 15 watt diode laser and a five watt infrared laser. By contrast, the F1 had a 10 watt diode laser and a 2 watt infrared laser. So it's basically more than double the power on the infrared side of things and a whopping 5 watts extra on the diode, which might not seem like a lot, but it makes a difference when it comes to cutting. And the more power you have, the faster you can go with lower settings. That's also important because it means you won't burn out the laser faster. For those of you who are into jewelry engraving that's actually a really important detail with the original f1 also known as the f1 light a lot of us who wanted to engrave things like metals had to go at a hundred percent power to get a nice dark engraving with the infrared being five watts not two watts on the f2 that means that you can actually take that power and drop it, which prolongs the life of the laser overall. Accurate placement on the F1 involved a lot of guessing and manual adjustments. I'm happy to say that the F2 has a camera and a really good fast camera at that. The F2's camera is 50 megapixels with an 8K resolution. This is even better than the one on the F1 Ultra. It's also extremely fast. I'm showing you this clip in real time without any editing. It takes less than five seconds to get a photo of the work area. Because of its high resolution, you can be confident in your design's placement. Check out this 10 millimeter charm I engraved. Or what about this bar charm? Its engravable area is only four millimeters tall. This speed has been greatly improved over the F1. The Xtool F2 is capable of doing 6,000 millimeters per second. 4,000 millimeters per second was what the F1 did, and that was already pretty fast. So 6,000 is like bonkers. Like imagine a world where you're at a holiday show and you're able to engrave personalized ornaments on site in front of the customer. I already flexed basically holding this thing for the entire intro video, which of course you saw an edited cut down version of. So I'm sweating bullets right now, but that's fine. I do this for you and the clicks and attention. In all seriousness, it weighs less than 10 pounds, but don't let that fool you. The construction is awesome. This is a beastly all metal thing. The only thing that's not metal on it is this front cover because metal's not see-through. However, it is fully enclosed. It has a port on the back where you can hook up an air purification unit, which conveniently enough, Xtool has a desktop version of their purifier. So if you're familiar with the larger one that I've reviewed in the past, also known as the AP2, they have a tiny, tiny desktop version of it. Actually, here it is, so little. And an even cooler thing is you can use a USB-C cable to connect the desktop purifier to the F2 and it'll control it. So you don't have to sit here and dial in anything. Overall, the footprint on your table is going to be less than two feet. Also, this weighs less than the F2. <laughs> the work area has remained the same four and a half by four and a half inches as the F1. The only notable difference is that the maximum height is now 120 millimeters instead of 113 millimeters. The base plate is removable if you want to set the machine on top of larger objects. It also comes with a graded plate that can be used when engraving over the edge of an item or for items that have dangly bits like keychains. There is a slight extension add-on available for the F2 that will expand the work area's width to 400 millimeters. I wasn't provided one to test so I can't tell you how effective it is apart from the stats and the videos that they've posted. Now that we've gone over the features let's talk about the software. The only difference in software options between the F1 and the F2 is the lack of light burn support. You know maybe three or four years ago this might have been a 
massive downside for some people, but Xtool is a really strong brand these days. Xtool software has come a long way since I started using their lasers three years ago. They've improved the user experience so much that I wouldn't hesitate to suggest their lasers to absolute beginners. There's tutorials embedded throughout, and the tooltips are very helpful with visual and text guides to explain the function of top-level buttons. Don't know where to start with your settings? That's fine. Xtool has curated a library of settings for each machine and their product line. It takes out a lot of the guesswork you'd have to do if you're coming in completely blind with no previous experience in laser engraving. It's worth noting that the software I'm using right now in this video is a beta version that supports the F2, so things might change a bit in the coming weeks. So with the F2 coming along, that means that the F1 is being phased out, which means lower prices on the F1. So why would you get an F2? All these are really good questions. So let me give you some thoughts to chew on. First, the F2 having more power means that you don't have to engrave at higher settings. That allows you to prolong the life of the laser and preventing burnout. It's also notably faster, which means you can get a lot more done in a smaller amount of time. And when you have sales piling up for the holidays, that actually makes a big difference. And finally, that camera is bonkers good quality. It's lightning fast and accurate, which means you're probably going to mess up a lot less in terms of placement. And jewelry blanks are not cheap. So that's basically it for your introduction to the X-Tool F2. I plan to do a lot of smaller, more targeted videos using the F2 over the coming weeks. So if there's a topic that you're specifically looking to be covered, please feel free to leave a comment in the section below the video. In the meantime, if you enjoyed any of this content, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel and give me all of your attention for I crave it. Thanks, bye.